Oh yeah, just a bright, gorgeous, rainy, misty day. What's up guys, how's it going? Mark Freeman 408. And we have Mr. Christopher here with the Trail Boss 330. I'm surprised this thing's not pull start. Is there a pull start? Oh, look at that. Okay. I don't want to pull on it. Some oil might shoot out or something. Yeah, or it won't go back in. Anyways, we haven't done this before. We're going for a little trail ride, quick little rip. Try not to drop the dirt bike here. We'll fall off, we'll fall off the ramp like that, but it's gonna happen. So usually I would take the Maverick, but today I decided I'm gonna rip the dirt bike because I only rode it twice this year on the track. And it's time for a scoot. And the Maverick, you can't fit through tiny trees. So I'm gonna have the advantage over Chris today. And speed, you'll have speed and over. And speed and wheelies. I'll be wheeling and everything, so. But yeah, that thing, I bet that thing will wheelie. You can try it. After a few uh, sodas. You can try Soda pause, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go for a scoot. I swear dust just shot out of the muffler when I, when I started this thing. Definitely hasn't been running in a while, that's for sure. ahead of me and then I think he thought I got lost so he went around again. It's apparently how people keep the grass cut down here in the winter they just do donuts. Whew. Oh yeah. How was that? That was good. Yeah I literally came up over there and then you took off again. I was wondering if uh, maybe you dropped it or something but I didn't see you behind me so I headed oh. back. Yeah I was like right behind you and then uh it was funny, I was going so slow at first, and then I'm like, wait, I'm wearing a full rain suit. Like, <laughs> I, I was dodging that. puddles, like trying not to hit any puddles, and they're like, I'm not getting wet or muddy, I don't care. This thing works good. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I got brand new tires on it, it so. big knobs on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, well, the back's still a little slippery, but the front uh, is digging in nice, so. <laughs> like, I went through every puddle and chuck them out, I could find it. I didn't even nice. really get that dirty. Good thing we didn't come the other way, though. We would not be crossing the river today. It's probably, oh, I'd say about eight, eight feet deep in the middle right now. Six, eight feet, give or take. You'd definitely need a, uh, a tall machine and you would definitely wash away pretty quick. I could have just took the sled and m met you here. <laughs> we can go back again. <laughs> yeah, straight from the house, straight up the river. Oh man. You got a pair of skis for behind the sled? Yeah, <laughs> for that thing. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go find some trails somewhere. Go make some. One rule, don't get stuck. That was the number one rule. <laughs> yeah, my freaking GoPro died like right at the start. 
I thought it was charged. I don't know, maybe it's because the uh, cold temps or what, but fun little rip through here. The old bike, I don't think I can make it through that. She's uh, pretty deep. Get that front end up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, reverse on that thing. Oh, maybe I'll give him a hand. What is he caught on? What's going on over here? I need a win. What are you caught on? Dirt. No, it's just, yeah, the flames rubbing. Give her a pull. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, uh. Real going now. Does this thing have reverse? Yeah. I can push you back. Uh. There we go. Come on. Almost there. Yeah. I'm going to take all credit for that. Gotta love that two-wheel drive, eh? <laughs> Never slow down. And that low, low, low axle. That was a mistake. Whoops. All right, try that mud hole next. <laughs> I've been in that one before. <laughs> we all have. Just a beauty day for a ride. We're here at the other shack. We don't hang out here, but I think the younger people hang out here. Looks like they had a couch burden party. 450's doing good. She's staying clean too. This is the stuff you can rip through. We tried to rip through the bush back there, but uh, all these little tiny trees were ripping my handlebars and I was wiping out. Chris is on it. The trailblazer, this man. Oh. Where will he go? Into the trees. <laughs> oh, looks like he's wedged right in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, how do you get yourself in these situations? Anyways, we got a nice little creek flowing through here. Might pan some gold later. I don't know. See if there's time. Hey bud. You gonna make it? Hung up, wedge between trees. Burn out. Oh. Oh, no. Perfect little area. Especially on a dirt bike, you can kind of rip through everything. Anyone need some mushrooms? He's back. You gonna try again? Oh, it's a runner in park. <laughs> what happened? You get a little hung up? A little bit. <laughs> Wedge between two trees, hung up. Good. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you're hung up on your old sprocket guard there. <laughs> oh. I guess it's my turn, eh? No, I'm taking my dirt bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's stream through here, eh? It is. Always 
Bring your crabbing gloves. <laughs> Never know when you're gonna go crabbing. That's true. As Jay would say. <laughs> You got a stick, yeah? Ah. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oops. Jim, kickstarts, I need a freshie. <laughs> when you uh, get up on a log but if you don't hit it straight on the back end just slides, slides down all the, the, way log. Up the log yeah and they're pretty slick logs today yeah. it's nice that it's more open here less of those tiny little twigs yeah growing, so. it's pretty neat all right carry on to the next spot a lot more than me <laughs> uh, good times we're gonna go find some snow and see if we can fall in it or something it yeah want to play you got to make sure you clean it good after 
dirt bike cleans up pretty fast. Oh yeah! Get that mud off there. Beauty day, beauty sunset. Thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully we can do some car stuff soon. I'm still sorting some stuff out on the back end. Do you have Facebook stuff? I did get my Facebook page back finally. Oh my God, stressful two months, but. And uh, yeah, a couple more things to sort out. That'll probably buy a fleet of four by fours for the track that we can just absolutely destroy this winter. And hopefully a trail sled, because I'd like to do some trail sled if it snows. But don't do anything I wouldn't do. Follow Chris on Instagram. Check out the links below. Check out my Facebook now that I have it back. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.